I want to share with you some of the best advice I ever received. When I was in college, I was told, never read a Bible verse. And that's the advice I want to give to you. Never read a Bible verse. Now, what do I mean by that? That kind of sounds a little blasphemous coming from a pastor. But if you just read a Bible verse, you can make it say anything you want it to. to. You, can, you can make it prove just about anything. For example, did you know that in Psalm 14, verse 1, it says, there is no God? Right there in the Bible, it argues, there is no God. Now, if we read all of verse 1, we see that that's not quite the whole story. Take a look. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They do abominable deeds. There is none who does good. Okay, so you can see the point of that verse is that the fool says in his heart, there is no God. No offense to atheists. My point is, you have to read the context of every sentence, of every verse. You need to put the verse in the context of its paragraph, its chapter, in the larger book. Because if you don't do that, you might make verses say things that God never really intended them to say. For example, Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, I know the plans I have for you, plans for a future and a hope. That's an amazing promise, but people use that in all kinds of ways that I'd say aren't exactly what God meant in the context of that verse. Or in Matthew 18, Jesus says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be with you. And people use that in all kinds of different contexts, but I go and challenge you to read that passage and find out what exactly was Jesus saying? What was he referring to when he said when two or three are gathered? In other words, what I'm trying to say is don't just read a verse or don't even just read two verses, but put it in the context, try and understand the whole thing. Don't just sort of magically open your Bible and point your finger in it and read a verse because maybe let's say you're moving and you're like, where should I move? I don't know where I should move. And you read Isaiah and it says, my chosen one shall come from the north. And you're like, oh, I should move to the north or I'm coming from the north and I should move south. I mean, people make some weird decisions based on kind of mystically reading the Bible. So don't do that. Don't just read a verse of the Bible. Put it into context. Understand the context of the paragraph, the chapter, and then the whole book. And we've got a lot of resources at Pursue God to help you do just that. Never just read a Bible verse.